Good morning. It's like 7.30, and guess what I'm gonna do? Going for a shake out run before Run Disney Weekend starts. <laughs> Exposed today, ooh. And I couldn't pass up waking up at Crescent Lake and not running. So since this was, it was just a one night stay, I'm gonna get some miles on around my favorite place to run in the whole world. Um, before our day starts. And it's a little chilly. It's a good running day. Come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look how beautiful this is. This isn't even fair. It's not even real. What? Overcast. It'll probably break up as the sun and the heat come up today. But that was a good, good shakeout run for myself. I picked up Sarah an apple juice and this doodle muffin, which is a snickerdoodle muffin for her and James. We're gonna have some balcony morning time before we really get this morning going by packing up and everything because we have to check out before we move over to Coronado. I definitely can feel the thicker air here compared to what I've been running in in Chicago. Um, especially because this is the time of year Chicago starts getting drastically cold like it was 30s before we left and now it's you know 70 and breezy but I, I still have my Florida blood I can feel how nice the breeze is with the 70 degrees I see other runners out it's expo day we're just gonna figure out breakfast I caught that on my tray I'm gonna figure out breakfast and then we'll be meeting the Earhart at the expo which opens up at 10 um, but we're full on vacation, so we gotta take Disney transportation everywhere. Good morning. Wow. Well. Mm -hmm. We're eating a muffin. Yes. Peter's back from his run. We got resort TV on our balconies. So lovely. Um, I think we're gonna get breakfast before we go to the expo today. We obviously have to get ready. Peter got us a doodle muffin. It is so good. It's basically butter. Do you like it? Good. Oh, you assy. You know my favorite part? Oh, gosh, you see mama? Uh-oh. You know the Brookhart's love? Balcony time. And we are soaking it up as we get ready to pack up out of here and figure out breakfast. Are you ready for breakfast? Bye. Goodbye, balcony. We are packed up. James is cutting teeth. This, I mean, like he's in the process of cutting teeth. So, like, he was uh, on the struggle bus a little bit this morning. It's just, he's just like touchy. Like all of a sudden, like you can just tell he's in pain. But he's eating animal crackers. Yes. But we're all packed up. Sarah and James are gonna go pick up. Oh, they're gonna pick up our breakfast. Tutorial Alfano to go. Tutorial to go. And I'm gonna go talk to Bell Services about doing hotel transfer. So yeah, I believe they're still doing it. Well, then they're gonna take our bags to Coronado while we go and have a good day. And then we're off to the expo. Yes, let's go. Bummer. I know we're gonna be back at this resort later, so maybe I'll run over and come into Dundee's, Dundee's Sundries. But I was hoping to go in there today because it's been closed, but it doesn't open till later. I kind of want that polo. Um, but I just stored my luggage with Bell Services. They are still doing hotel transfer. So I gave them our four bags. They will transfer to Coronado Springs. And then when we get to our room later, I just call Bell Services and they'll bring them on over. We've done, done eating. It was so good. So scrum doodly umptious. Yeah. Fresh ingredients. DVC discount on the app if you do the mobile order still because it's the table service. Uh-huh. And now we're walking over to the conference um, entrance because that's where the coach buses for the expo are picking people up. So they say like every 20, 20, 
20 to 30 minutes. So hopefully we got some good timing here. Hopefully we didn't just miss one or nothing. Groups are compared to corrals. We can go with the flow. We're just gonna go with the flow, but S1, because I still rock my fitness time. I'm so excited. It's so, feels so good to be back at a Run Disney Expo with people. Love, magic. Look at these dweebs. Hello. Thanks for babysitting I'm our challenge. bag again. Yeah. Ooh, she's doing the challenge too. Okay. I love that. I love that. Oh gosh. That's the challenge. So nice color. Half. Half. Black. What do you think about the long sleeve? I thought they were going to be short sleeve, but I'll be fine. Yeah. Ooh. This will be nice to run in when we yeah. go back home. Yeah, that's true. Very nice. All oh, four. Those are nice, right? This is a new booth this year. It's really cool. It's called Athletic Brewing Company. It's non-alcoholic brew. Peter got a new pair of gooders. I wanted to get these when they first emailed us about them. I even sent a picture to the Air Hearts. I was like, guys, uh -huh. they're like spooky Halloween ones. Yeah, and they glow in the dark. So cool. All right, you got the 5K route start in the, in the parking lot. And it's all the world showcase. And then the 10K start at Magic Kingdom's parking lot. Go down World Drive. Around. Wait, you actually go in Hollywood Studios. That's cool. And then it's all around Crescent Lake and it's Epcot. Half Marathon starts in the parking lot. Does not go through Magic Kingdom, which we were, we did not do our research. We take this back road through Animal Kingdom, through Studios in Crescent Lake, around World Showcase, in the parking lot. This is super cool and different, and I really need to it's figure not the out. Races I, expected. I think it's gonna be a lot harder than we do. Yeah. Well, maybe it'll be like a start and a finish for all of I think them. So. Um, we'll figure it out. Yeah. We, I'll look at it better before, so I feel prepared. But again, we'll show you the spectator side as well as the runner side. Um, but the monorail is not going this weekend. And yeah, those those courses are not what we expected. Okay, and now into the Edmund Health Arena for merchandise. Ooh. Ooh, look at HHM. All right, we're in the merch building, waiting in line. The line started moving, so I don't know. We hear that they leave giant sloths of people in. So maybe we'll get lucky and they'll be in this grouping. Um, but we've never had to wait before. But we've also never been here before five. Also, in the world of COVID. These are very nice. All the colors. These are, these are really great. This is the one I'm most excited for. Look at that. Look at that glitter. So the merchandise goes from like the specific races and then just this event and then just run Disney stuff. We're like, I feel like other people cover the merchandise better. So, I mean, I encourage you to just like type into YouTube merchandise run Disney and you'll get to see it all. But it is pretty good. We'll they're, we'll they're show some of our favorites. They're a lot more Nike hats, like cold branded and I like that a lot because yeah. the Nike athletic hats are like my favorite They're time. so nice. And I might get one. This jacket is probably one of my favorites. Got all the villains. And then Wickedly Delicious on the front. We're fans of this sweatshirt too, the Every Mile of Magic. And there's nothing else on the back, but it's like an athletic sweatshirt. So here where there'd usually be character meet and greets, they have these cool photo ops with the different mile 
amount. Really stinking cute. Got Evil Queen. Jack and Boogie. This one's cool. Just the whole weekend. All the villains. Kronk and Yzma for 13.1 the half. So 19.3, which is the challenge amount with Ursula. It's the 10K and the half. And with that, we're done with the expo. The last time we had an in-person Run Disney event, we had just found out that he was in my tummy. So it's like crazy special. Oh my goodness! Such a gold treat! Peter, the train station, it's all Christmassy! Wow, and we haven't seen any of the statues. We got Lady in the Tramp right here. I'm emotional today. <laughs> Look at everything is so golden! Like it's just cool to see different because it's usually like so like red. Alrighty, so we're in and we're already eating. We got corn dog nuggets, coke, french fries, and these are the 50th egg rolls. They're like pastrami and pepper jack cheese. But look at this paper. That's the star of the show. And then cheeseburger. And we actually get, have a seat outside of Casey's Corner and right by the piano player. This never ever happened, so. It's already a good start to Magic Kingdom. Peter's getting Starbucks and we'll be here soon. What did you get? I got a... Uh, They're playing our song. This is our song. I'm in Mocha, but I got the shot, the uh, next shot of a special on top of my head. Ooh. I so I just had a, an amazing experience with the guest experience team, which I wasn't hopeful about at first. So we bought Genie Plus today, um, us and the Air Hearts, but we were having issues with two different issues. One, I couldn't book Lightning Lanes on my phone it was giving me a weird error, but Ben could book for me, but Ben could not see Sarah, which is a, a separate issue that's been known. They are going to do standby pirates because James is still sleeping. And I went to the guest experience team and they're like, you have too many friends. We have to, you only allowed 30, you've got 43. Delete some people. And we deleted 13. Now the app works perfectly fine. Genie Plus is roaring. So we're gonna maximize the next couple hours here at, at Magic Kingdom. Val, Rapunzel, I love these cavalcades. Ooh, happy holidays. statues are so nice. Donald and Daisy. I think we've got at least two other days here. So if for some reason James still sleeps through this, he's gonna love seeing these statues. James is main man himself, the Goofinator and Pluto. I love these. I want them to sell like four to six inch versions of these. Take one monorail into a second monorail into Epcot. What? We still haven't even said our special, exciting night time spectacular. Look at it. Just look at it. James Monorail. 
We just walked in Epcot and we're getting right on Spaceship Earth. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Phoenicians. They invented them. By now, we're all communicating from anywhere on Earth. And in 1969, from somewhere else. Here we are, a truly global community, poised to shape the future of this, our spaceship we got fisherman's pie. You guys are gonna, they have to try the dessert. Though. Yeah. We got fisherman's oh, pie and good. the sausage. No, I just got these. And the pie. Or chocolate dessert. cake. Okay. Ooh, and beer from the, from there? Oh, we're getting the beer from there and we're getting beer from there. Wow. Ben and Peter are at the Rose and Crown. We're going through the shops of the UK. And these stores are open now and I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. So it was a big surprise that Carolyn and Sarah went into the shop because we yeah. haven't seen the sportsman shop open they are for a open. long time. Me and Ben go in and Sarah was gonna buy me this cologne that we I've wanted for a long, long time. Yeah. It's like got this like black panther and what's it called? Like <laughs> It was like Revenge of Lady Blonde. Yes. And we thought it was like a $90 cologne, which is very for? nice cologne. Yeah. So Sarah was like, I was actually gonna get it for you without letting you know. And I said, like, well, let's just go buy it. We go up there and we were wrong on the price. Uh-huh. It was $290. <laughs> Not 90. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll take you money. <laughs> Where is it? Maybe a Christmas gift? Maybe, but not right now. Okay. All right. We tag teamed. I got Brazil. They got Greece. Now we're going to feast. We have pork, seafood stew, cheesy bread. Ooh, what is that? Spanakopita. What is that? Lamb moussaka. All right, we're hitting a beach club to organize ourselves. We can go to the gift shop. Oh. They have the gingerbread carousel out and ready. Oh, it's all Little Mermaid. <gasps> oh, say. Oh, say. James, E. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So awesome. At the 50th anniversary decal. Look, they got hot chocolate and gingerbread over here. Woo. So we're at the beach club and there's a premium hot cocoa bar. I got peppermint hot cocoa and Carolyn got the, what is? The ba -da -da -da, Yuletide cheer. You good to go? Um, I actually just got a hot chocolate. Oh, nice. Thank you. you. Awesome. Carolyn, can I show your little dream? Yeah. Ooh. Very festive. Ooh, so festive. <laughs> He's totally asleep. He's out. We, he's yeah, so we, out. I tried waking him up. Really? Yeah. So we got like 10 we have minutes. Captain Candy with us. He's awesome. Yeah. Oh, we got 10 minutes. We'll give him at least five yeah. minutes. Yeah. Okay. And we have our friends Kristen and Jenna and Ben and Caroline. And we're pumped. I am very excited. After watching last night, now I can just like yeah. sing along, jam, but I won't be critical. Like, we are in the show. Parties.
the song inside you soaring, and the whole wide world will hear it. Alrighty, into our room. Oh, wow. This is way better than I expected. Really? Yes, we haven't stayed in the hotel like resort side in a long time. Look, okay, Steve is staying with us. It has his last name too. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jamesy. Look at this place. All right, here we are. We have not stayed in an actual resort room in a long time. So we have two beds. It's with the ACS block. Hi, Grace. I would like to get my luggage delivered if that's possible still. Here we go. So this, so maybe, I, you know what it is? It's because it's a convention hotel. That's why, like, it just is like, it's far wider than I suspected. It's kind of different. Three caballeros. James loves it. This is Steve's bed. He's staying with us Saturday night. He's running the half marathon. Yeah, he but like, have that bed so he can get murdered first. That's what Sarah, Sarah <laughs> would always say, like, the person closest no, to the it's, door. it's a great thing. Oh. Remember, it's like the person. Yes. Who, you no, you, you die, David. You get murdered first for once. No, you get murdered first. David, you get murdered first. No, you. Yes, you, you get murdered it. first. David, you get murdered first. Carolyn referenced these K-Cups with the special 50th. Booyah, baby. But look at this big desk. But who's using this desk on vacation? Not the Brookhart, not to edit, not to work. James. Got lots of work to do. He slept the whole cruise. Guess what? He's ready to party. You got a lot of work to do with that. Get to work. <laughs> and then sliding barn doors for the bathroom. A big old mirror. We're getting our luggage delivered now, and then we are unpacking. It's late. We have to get up early. We don't know if Sarah and James. It's supposed to rain. Yeah. We just call for a crib. Yeah. It's been a little out of sorts, so we'll see. He might have said mama, and they might not come with me in the morning, but we'll figure it out. What a vlog today was, all over the place. We, we were just talking like halfway through the day, we were like, oh, we should probably like reevaluate how much we're vlogging, yeah. because these aren't like three hour evening vlogs. Right. This is a full park day. I look like I had a full park day. <laughs> He's like ready to go. He's been I silent know. and resting all day. Yeah. And now he's like hooting and hollering. You ready to go? You ready for a good vacation week? Yeah, he's got rosy cheeks. Yeah. You're a good kid all day. Mm -hmm. I know your teeth are hurt. Yeah, he's just so, um, I have to get up in two and a half hours. Maybe. I have to look at the schedule. <laughs> yeah, but well, we at least have to. He did really good on the Chicago Marathon where. But the thing was, I got to take him on the stroller and uh -huh. just straight on the bus, whereas, like, we'd have to transfer. But we'll see. We'll see. Tomorrow is my first fun Disney event in almost two years. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Say it. Good to good to good. There you go. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>